Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael, humble seeker of truth for Divine Wisdom Part 2. I was going to put, uh, so it wasn't supposed to be two parts. It, I just accidentally stopped the video from recording and it uh, cut it off. I was going to put Part 2 up last night, but there's a couple things that bother me about it. And uh, so I've redone it. I think it's a bit more concise. Um, took a couple things out. We just, anyway, uh, it's just mind-blowing proof from our Father. Proof of Him leading. Proof this is Him. I, I can't say the word strongly enough. Just absolute proof. It doesn't mean every single person's going to understand the proof. I mean, you could show me some mathematical calculations proving stuff out, and it looks like Greek to me. <laughs> you can, oh, here's the proof. Oh, it just looks like a bunch of symbols and gobbledygook to me. Well, I'm sure some of this stuff, uh, these numbers, some folks feel that way about it. It doesn't mean it's not proof. It just means they don't understand. So, but this is getting so specific, so mind-blowing, Father's already proven this out like a hundred times now, but this is next level. Just And then last night he added in another just gigantic diamond. So let's dig right in. We left off talking about that Father has put a figure... Um, tied to me phonetically uh, through the name Canaan. And uh, we're considering that, that that could be a possibility. Let's start with that. Okay, and we're going to dive right back into it. If I repeat something from yesterday, please forgive me. There's kind of like three little sections to this video. Three segments of kind of delving into the next topic, which is ever completely tied into the other one. Okay. So we saw that Canaan, uh, so Enos begat Canaan pre-flood, and this is as in the days of Noah were. So, okay. Well, the Lord's return is in the days of Noah were. So Canaan is number 7018. Okay, well, he had... Mahalalil, when he was 70 years old, Mahalalil is simple English gematria of 70. Okay, well, when did Israel, if this is a figure, so what Father does with these figures is he finds a, new, a way to numerically bring us and plop us right down into like right now or, or these end times. And just like he did with the sign of Revelation 12, that marks a point in time. And we, we can see things from that point, from that signpost. And so, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. So Israel turned 70 in 2018. Oh, he brings us to a point in time. And so here's his, here's his plopping us down into this figure for right now and showing us, hey, he, he's communicating to us and here's the clue that he is Canaan is 70 18 Israel turned 70 in 2018 for emphasis because this is when Canaan has Mahalalil Mahalalil is 70 father emphasizes and Canaan had him at age 70 okay so we have three 70s Canaan's age Gematria of Mahalil and the number, Strong's number for Canaan. It's the 7,018th alphabetical word in the Old Testament. That is a stamp. Of what? Well, I'm going to tell you in a second, but before I do, let me also point out, they turned 70 on May 14th, 2018. What is 5 times 14? 70. Oh, 
Okay. He begets Canaan at 70. Okay, so there's our stamp. But now where's he pointing to? Well, Canaan lives another 840 years. That brings us right to right now because it's the pattern of 410 to 104. It's also full circle, beginning, declared the end from the beginning, and also the beginning from the end. Full circle. 404 verses in Revelation. We get to Ch Genesis 1 6, 4 10. Full circle. He made the firmament to divide the waters. He began to split that firmament to bring the waters back together. Waters are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. So, lives another 840 years. That uh, That's a big deal. Okay, as far as the figure. Canaan lived to 910 years old. Do you remember when I said at the river, Father said he was going to re-implement water baptism for Jacob's trouble? They don't receive Holy Spirit right away. They don't get water. I mean, they don't get spiritually baptized when they accept the Lord Jesus Christ. They have to wait for that outpouring like the believers did in the first century church until the day of Pentecost came. And so we will water baptize. It will be their outward sign of that commitment made to Christ. Well, Canaan lived to 910 years old. This uh, 91 full circle would emphasize um, Psalm 91, Jacob's trouble. So the first use, oh, number 910 is a baptizer. And the first use is Matthew 3.1 which happens to be the 4-9 verse of Matthew, which makes 50, 4-10. 50 is used, the, num the word 50 is used 162 five times in the word. So I've also said, Father told me he was going to give me the mantle. He's giving me, gave me the mantle of Elijah. It will become the mantle of Elisha coming back across the river. Turn the hearts of the children back to me. Yes, Father. Malachi 4-5 is where he says that. It's 51 verses. To Matthew 3, 1, the first use of this word baptizer. From the next verse, 50, 51 verses to Matthew 3, 2. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. So he has Mahalaleel. I'm getting better at saying it, I think. Better than yesterday. <laughs> So Mahalaleel, um, his name, and wow, Satan's already trying to warp this too, um, with the, the shining ones. And let's see what Father has to say. Okay, Mahalaleel is number 4111. There's a 411 in there that it starts with, which is going to get really interesting. This is 1 in 411 twice, okay? It's also 41.0 and 111. Spirit is used 111 times. And it's also today, 11.1, that we're covering this, which he does this every video now at some point. Mahalaleel um, means the shining one of El. It's taken from two root words, one that means shining or the shining one, and the other means El, God. Well, those two roots that this is taken from our 1894, which is divine order in 184. Gematria, my name is 184 of L 410. Day of declaration. Yeah. So Mahalalil then picking up, figuratively picking up the mantle. Boom, now we're moving forward in figure. Okay. Again, we're going to come back to that 411. I think. I might have scrapped. Uh, that might have been something I took out. <laughs> we'll see if as we go. 
don't worry there's uh there's plenty of stuff to pique your interest i think if you didn't watch part one by the way you really should go back and watch that first okay we're gonna segue into another piece of this let's go to john 11 Uh, verse 40. Jesus says, saith unto her, so this is our Lord about to raise Lazarus from the dead. Said I not unto thee that if thou would believe, thou should see the glory of God? Let me make a point. In verse 9, our Lord says, don't you know there's 12 hours in the day? And we know that Father's using that to pin the equilux as his calendar count starting point. But uh, it's a little more than that. So he says in Job 38 verse 21, do you know these things, you know, where light dwells, the division of light and dark? Do you know these things? Because thou wast then born? Yeah. So we've looked at the number of days of my life. This word 12 here is 1427 in Strong's. It's 42 in 17, okay? 1427 is 42 inside of 17. 17 is L. Simple gematria of L. 42 months is, it's bringing us to, uh, or, or pointing towards the beginning of that 42 months. So, 42 and 17, great sign of Revelation 12, 42 months and 17 days to 410, day of declaration. Back to the number of days I'm born, come yesterday, 1030, sorry, two days ago, I was 21,400 and 17, 42 and 17, 14, 27, 2,104, 21,427 days. It's 21 and then 1427. It brings that 1427 full circle, which is a timestamp to 1030. And I'm there's a reason I'm bringing this up again without any chart because it just dawned on me because we're going to see Father timestamp this in placement. That's exactly the same as that stamp. Okay, if you didn't follow that, don't worry about it. All right, John eleven forty. So, said I not unto thee, if you would believe, you would see the glory of God. Believe is number 4,100. Talked about that as much as anything. Used 248 times. <clears throat> That's the minute I was born. Um, in case you didn't catch that. So... Let's go to Numbers. Keep your finger in John. Hey, I'm getting smarter. If you guys hang with me, this is a little cumbersome because it it's so much that ties together. And so I'm trying to show it from like 10 different angles and it's I'm finding it mentally challenging. <laughs> but I usually do. Numbers. 20 verse 4. This is the waters of Meribah. We saw Father bring us right here recently. The 4316th verse in the Word of God, which number 4316 is Michael. And why have you brought the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness that we and our cattle should die here? Verse 5. 4317, the 4317th verse in the Bible is Michael. The archangel is number 4317. Okay. So on this side over here, we have, we're going to see this is the same message, okay? And it's the consistency of message that, that builds an in, inarguable pattern. So we're at 140 into next verse is 141. 
okay? It's 141 days from that guy getting swallowed by the whale or the report of it to 1030. Okay? So that was a stamp sign of Jonah. Over here at Numbers 24, we begin these verses. And why have you brought? Verse 5, the Mike, Michael the Archangel verse, 4317. And wherefore, and wherefore have you made us to come up out of Egypt? Both those and why and wherefore are number 4100. Same message. But we take the message here that we're going to expound, that Father's going to expound on. This is Him communicating. Oh, it is. If you would, if you're skeptical, just set it aside for a second and listen with open ears and an open heart. Okay, so this. It pins 410, but it also brings us through the 141 and beyond. 142, 143. Okay, it brings us to right now and forward. But so he establishes placement and timing here, but and then he ties it to who he who he's telling it to to tell you. And he includes the timestamp because it's 204 days. From 4.10, okay, to 10.30. Same time stamp as the 141. The 204 and the 141 stamp the same day from different places. But they're his places. They're not just, well, if you just pick that date, oh, I mean, it's, a, no. I didn't make the guy get swallowed by the whale. And I didn't write in here that he was, that I would do the sign of Jonah before my son got here. No, that was Almighty God. See, it's His timing. It's His signpost. So we can just recognize. Oh my gosh, same message. Same time stamp is huge for us as we watch for our Lord. And we're still here watching. Okay. That's what we just covered. Going back a minute to John. So verse 40, said I not unto thee that if thou would believe, thou should see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Well, if our time stamp now, that's 1141 or 141, so we're time stamped at 1030 right there, October 30th. Both ways. Now let's move forward. I am going to say again, in case it was in the other part too, that you're not going to hear. I'm not, I am not trying to find the next high watch day. Every minute is gigantic high watch. Our Lord's going to be here any minute, any day, and I don't know the day and hour. If Father shoves something in my face to give to you, you can bet that I will. I am not going in here to, talk. okay, what, what should we look at now? It's any minute. And that's what I'm trying to show you is it's him that's led us to this point and time stamped it. It was him that told us to make declaration 49410. I'm going to thousand percent prove it today in this video. Now you might not agree, but <laughs> anyway. So verse 42, and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe, there's that 4100 again, that thou hast sent me. That they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Notice Lazarus hasn't got up yet. So we got a timestamp of 1030, 1031, 11 11-2. It doesn't have to go day to day to day. So in other words, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. But I'd be looking up. Look, the other thing is, it just shows us a progression. That it's any minute. 
And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes in his face, bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto him, Loose him and let him go. Glory to God, glory to his son, Jesus the Christ. Sorry, I got squeaky chair. It's driving me nuts. I'm going to go change it. I'll be back. I already feel like I'm getting lifted up. Okay. 248. So Father puts another stamp on there tied to me. So he had me born at 248 in the morning. And on... March 2nd, when he told me to tell the world yet 40 days, he, the moon was, he showed me the moon being birthed on Phi, halfway out of Virgo's womb at 2.48 in the morning is when he had me look at it. I had went to pray. Number 2.48 is the word arm. It's used two times. First time is Jeremiah. Uh, let me think if I want to. Sorry, just a second. All right, we're going to go down this path, but I want to point some out. So, number 248 is used twice. You guys, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It's just so immensely beautiful. It's used two times. Now, is he using it? Is it really tied to me? Well, let's see if it is. He'll, it'll be super clear. It's used twice. First is Job 31.22. You see this 3.12 that this starts with? That's... So, Elijah, which are the numbers of my name added up? Number 452, Elijah, the prophet, used 312 times. We've covered it in the last bunch of videos. We're going to look at it again because Father's added to it and it's going to lead us somewhere just gorgeous. Okay, but so that's a stamp because prophet is used 312 times. What prophet and prophesying about what? Boom. Oh my gosh, you guys, watch this. I'm... <laughs> Job 32, 21 is the other place. That would be 3, 2, 21, where Father birthed the moon at 2.48 in the morning on fire after telling me to tell the world, yet 40 days and judgment will fall. And we are way just getting started with this. Oh, back up to here. It's 12 in 32. You see that? Because... Go thy way, Daniel, is 32.12, and it's the first place Father led me. 184 chapters, Gematria in my name, to Deuteronomy 32, my birthday, Deuteronomy 32.12, and the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him, number 410. Okay, 32.12, go thy way, Daniel, 184 sealed, Michael, Go thy way to Deuteronomy 32, 12, 184. No seal. I'm going to unseal this to you. Oh. New oil. New wisdom. Jeremiah 32, 21 is a gigantic stamp. Don't pay attention to that yet because I'm going to show it to you in a second. Why is that 807 there? <laughs> <laughs> and with great okay let's read the verse let's go there <coughs> let's uh read verse 20 so this is 3 2 20 that's the day marked on phi where father really started teaching us about phi and his ordering of things and it's the day that moses death is my birth which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. 
even what is there by the way one thing is uh the great pyramid of giza which is 500 phi where are we 3220 it's 500.204 i think miles from jerusalem to giza that'd be phi and 204 the 204 which is the timestamp of 1030 and chief cornerstone who we are watching for okay so which has set signs and wonders in the land of egypt even unto this day and in israel and among other men and hast made a name has made thee a name as at this day and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm and with great terror it is 807 verses to get to Deuteronomy 32:21 i'm going to show you why that mind-blowingly matters momentarily. So I'm going to get to that 807, but before I do, let me, again, it's so many things intertwined. So we're following 3221, okay, down through. And with great, oh, there's our 141 again. Nine is divine order. And the thing is, is 141 is also the number of times voice, of the archangel is used with great terror that's number 4172 that is 41.0 when israel is 72 oh big time and what did we just talk about the voice of the archangel where is that by the way that would be first thessalonians 417 On 410, when Israel was 72, the voice of the archangel. This word terror right here. First use of that word is Genesis 9-2. Second use is the exact minute that Father made us, had us make declaration. Now it was 410 in Jerusalem, 1234. It was 434 where the voice of the archangel was. That's the second use. <clears throat> Out of is number 448. Okay, watch this. Okay, sorry. 3221. And has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and wonders, with a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with great terror, and has given them this land. Okay, so we have followed this, and we get to. So we're going to. Uh, we're going to go here. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4.34. Seeing as now he's... Do you see him leading? How'd we get to 4.34? The minute of declaration of the voice of the archangel, which is... It's him leading, and we're not even really getting exacting yet. Just give me a minute. Deuteronomy 4.34. How art thou fallen, O Lucifer, by the way, is used 434 times. In case you missed that somewhere along the way. 62 sevens. 434. Let's read it. Maybe this sounds like the last verse. 
That'd be cool. Or hath God essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation? By temptations, by signs, and by wonders. Oh, we just, same wording. And by war, it adds that in. And Michael and his angels fought the dragon and his angels. And there was war in heaven. Archangels down here. Wielding the sword of the spirit, which goes there. Or hath God essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation, by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Same language, Jeremiah 32, 20. One, excuse me, to Deuteronomy 4.34. 32.21 was the 40-day warning. 4.34 was the minute on the day at the end of the warning. Watch. Oh my gosh. 4.35. Unto thee it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God. There is none else beside him. Where else does he say that? That would be Isaiah 46, 9, and 10. Why don't we make our way there momentarily or in a few minutes? Out of heaven, he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee. And upon the earth, he showed thee his great fire, and thou heardst, heardest his words out of the midst of it. I am telling you that that's, it might be general, it is specific to me, thousand percent, I'm going to prove it right now, for your blessing. I don't need you to believe me. I just want you to believe me for your blessing. That blesses me too, but. <laughs> we worry about this relationship first and foremost. I'm, All right, look. Out of, okay, out of heaven, he made me to hear his voice. Let's get specific. That he might instruct me. And upon the earth, he showed me his great fire, and thou, and I heard his words out of the midst of the fire. Okay. Out of his 448-0. Heard his words. Let's look at this little piece first. We'll come back to the 448. Heard his words. That's number 1697. The first use is 807 times. The second is 231 times. So? Oh! Well, it's 807 verses to get to Jeremiah 32, 21. When he said, tell the world yet 40 days. You know why I said it? Because I heard him. What about the 231? Oh, well, what's our other verse? The first use. So this was second use. Okay, of this word terror, first use is Genesis 9-2. It just happens to be 231 verses to Genesis 9-2. It's an ordered communication by the only one who could order it. If you understood that, Climb back up in your chair and let me, let Father knock you out again. <laughs> I just, what? Oh my gosh, I hope you understand this. Now this 448, watch what he does here. Do you, do you, do you know what that is? Oh. 
If you remember a few videos ago, I covered again how he led me to the time to make the declaration of 434. I didn't know that how art thou fallen was 434 times. I didn't know that 62 sevens was 434. I never stopped to think about it. He led me through what we just read, the words, his words. Deuteronomy 436, his words. He, out of heaven, he made me to hear his voice, that he might instruct me. And upon the earth showed thee his great fire, and, and I heard his words. What were they? Well, there's a whole bunch of them, but let's start with what's at hand. His words, number 1697, that is 6 in 197, which 197 is more exactly, more perfectly. So I noticed that, and then I said, okay, well, how's this break down? They, there's the 807 and the 231, which gives a total of 1038. And so what Father did is he said, well, look, I've highlighted 104, 10th day of the fourth month. This is 0.2 short. It's 103.8. Why would anyone draw that conclusion without being led to it? It's not like, oh, it's 103.8. Okay. Is it? Was that him or me? Let's keep going. We already know it's him. Super clearly, which first time I've seen this was yesterday. But then we have matter, 6-3, the year I was born, and tied to Genesis 6-3. Acts, which is 51, which is Michael, and then the next two are also 63. So Michael bookended in here, Genesis 6-3, pinning 4-10. And then when we add in uh, the next one, um, we got a few things here. We got 197, again, for more exactness, I didn't write it on here. We have 83, which is my birthday plus Michael. It's also wisdom. And the miscellaneous, here's our 204, chief cornerstone, time stamp to 1030, October 30th. And now we look forward. So, 1038, 103.8. 0 0.2 short of 104, trying to find the declaration. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, it's going to take a minute for everything to go down, so we make the declaration a little bit before they get there. We, we got to give them a little time to get here. <laughs> I'm not saying that was from him. It just maybe was, but they didn't get here right away, so <laughs> okay. So like I say, what do you find when you get there? But, one oh three point eight point two short of 104. Oh, what is 0.2 of a day? Well, uh, 0.2 of 24 hours is 4.8. So that's 4. Well, what's 0.8 of an hour? It's 4.8 hours. Well, 0.8 hours is 48 minutes. Okay, so this point two short is four hours and 48 minutes short of, and then he said, subtract it from nautical twilight in Jerusalem. Yes, Father, nautical twilight, 5.22 a.m. on 4.10, minus four hours and 48 minutes. Brought us to 12.34 in Jerusalem, 12.34 is divide break open as in the Red Sea parting. The fountains of the great deep breaking up because it's speaking toward division of light and dark and the sheep. Now where CST, where I am, this time is 434. Out of heaven, he made me to hear his voice. 
out of is 448 full circle. Oh, it, it gets better. You back up in the chair? Okay. This 435 right here. Unto thee, unto thee it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God. There is none else beside him. Please go to Isaiah 46. Verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God. There is none else. I am God, saith the Lord, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. What is his pleasure? Calling a ravenous bird from the east. The man that executes my counsel from a far country or a far land. I am from a place called far land. It's actually 41.0 land, which is a total of 72. What? 41.0 and 72 is where I'm from? The stranger from the far land? Would he pattern that in here? Come on. Oh, what was the word that got us here in the first place? That would be 4172. 410, 72 total. Stranger from a far land called the ravenous bird from the east. Did he now? Well, then, it would have to pattern out exactly the same way. That's the thing with this, you guys. This would break down so fast if it wasn't him. Because it would only take a second to get to somewhere that didn't gel with the last place you were. It would happen so fast, it make your head spin. Isaiah 46, 11, calling a ravenous bird, Satan, from the east. Watch this. So the stranger from the far land, on 4, 9 at 434, called the ravenous bird. That is number 5861. Where was the other place we were at? Jeremiah 32, 21 was where we had that word, right? 32, 21, that's March 2nd in 2021. What is 58, 61? Well, 61, March 2nd is the 61st day of the year. And on that day in 2021, I turned 58. Because this stranger from the far land called the ravenous bird at our father's direction and by his power in and through our lord and savior jesus christ so stranger from the far land calling the ravenous bird from the east is 42 17 because it's 42 months and 17 days from the signpost of revelation 12 to 410 The man who executes my counsel from a far land. Far is number 4801. So, you remember the initial calculation, the 0.2 of a day? It's 4.80 hours. Double stamp on the calculation. In case you didn't get that, pins the same day. You know from Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 14, 12, how art thou fallen? Used 434 times. It's 104, 10th day of the fourth month verses to Isaiah 
nine six. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the, the government shall be upon his shoulders. See, it's a point in time that Father took to him his great power and began to reign. 4, 9, 4, 10. 4, 34. 12, 34. Depending where you are. Or somewhere thereabouts. Oh, I'm sorry. From Isaiah 9, 6. And we went the wrong direction. It's 104 verses either way you go, backward or forward. From Isaiah 9, 6 to, how art thou fallen? First step in him setting that government up was casting Satan and his angels out of heaven. 4, 9, 4, 10. Let's go to the book of Job. Let's go to chapter 18. Actually, let's let's do something else. Let's um I'll tell you what. So Job pictures Israel uh figuratively. Let's let's just go to 410. Let's go 410 verses into Job, right? If it's an ordered communication, there should be a diamond sitting there. Absolutely. All right, so let's go. Let's see, Job. Um, oh, it's it, chapter 18. Um, well, let's see. It's 410 verses is 18.3, which means it's 410 verses to Job 18.4. 184, the stranger from a far land, which makes 184 411. You remember Canaan? 40, 411 with a one at the end? <laughs> What's the verse say? Okay, all right, well, that's cool. All right. The, I think so anyway. <laughs> What's the verse say? He tears himself in his anger. Shall the earth be forsaken for thee? Shall the rock be removed out of his place? <sighs> Almighty Father, all honor, praise, wisdom, might, power, and glory be to you and to your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wow. Satan's the rock, the mountain. They've forsaken the rock that begat them. They're standing on a different rock that's not like the rock. A stone cut without hands. A great millstone cast at Mystery Babylon. Satan, the great red dragon, number 132, is red. Shall the rock be removed out of his place? It's a rhetorical question. 410, 184. I got your interest yet? Does Father have your interest yet? <laughs> Now, if you remember that word terror that we were highlighting that brought us down that path, the other use of it, the first use is Job 31.22. It's got that 3.12 in it. Uh, the prophet, 312 times. So we looked at a bit of this, I think, a video or two ago. But Father's added to it, and where it leads uh, is some treasure. Uh, so some of this is review, then you've heard it a bunch. Elijah's number 452. Father said, I'm going to give you the mantle of Elijah. Turn the hearts of the children back to me. 
I uh, born 3263, 248 in the morning. I'm 58 years old. That's a time stamp, okay? Somebody asked, uh, Christine asked, well, what happens if you turn 59? Then I'll look to see how he patterned 59 uh, as we wait. He patterned 58 because day of declaration, I was 58. And it's clearly patterned in here. 51 is Michael, okay? So that's 452. This equals 452, Elijah. The prophet, 312 times March 2nd, 312th most popular birthday of the year, okay? Stamps that only Father can provide. What is this prophet prophesying about? 132. Father told me, tell the world, yet 40 days on March 2nd. That's used 132 times, and he had me say it exactly like that. Yet 40 days. And judgment will fall. Judgment's falling. Judgment's here. Floodgates haven't been removed yet. Okay, this is 3 in 12, which is 312. This is 1 in 32, which is 132. So we have this, this uh, ever-existing connection between the prophet and what's getting prophesied about. That, then Father led me to this, this number 13284.0. It's got our 840 at the end, pinning 410 to 104. And uh, it also has, so it's got, let's see, I'm 32 in 184. Okay, that's me. I was born 32. Come out through my name, 184. But it's also red, 132 in the warning that I gave. And 84 happens to be the 216th, 666, day of the year, 6 times 6 times 6, August 4th. Also, Oh, Mr. Obama's birthday. So we have two things going on just exactly like this. So here's 132 and 84 and 32 in 184. Totally different numbers. What do these equal? 216. 6 times 6 times 6 because it's speaking of the beast. What's this equal? 216. Why? 6 plus 6, I mean 6 times 6 times 6, 3 vavs, because Michael is working on that last wall of the temple in great tribulation. Thus the mantles. This goes somewhere. Somewhere very beautiful. I think. So Father says, uh, look at Psalms. Okay, well there's only one Chapter 132 in the Word of God, it's in Psalms. So what happens if we go 132 chapters and 84 verses into Psalms? Where does that lead us? Now there's two ways we could look at that. We could start at the beginning of 132 and go 84, which I did, but I'm not going to highlight right now. Uh, it's cool, but uh, this is cooler. So we're going to go 132 chapters complete. 84 verses complete. That, once again, if it's ordered, then it should have a diamond there. Psalms 139. Oh, this is so beautiful. Psalms 139, verse 15. Let's go to verse 14. This would be the 84th verse. 132 chapters, 84th verse later. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's go to the verse before that. For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. What figure could that be? He has possessed my reins. Well, I've said that uh, the first place he took me after I said, Father, I need to know this is you. And that I'm not being misled. This is years ago. And he said, took me to Deuteronomy 
32, 12, go thy way, Daniel. The Lord alone did lead him. There was no strange God with him. Number 410. It's Father that leads. The Lord alone did lead him. Father leads. Well, so if he if he owns or has my reins, what do reins do? Well, think of a horse. It directs and steers the horse. Feeling like a really old horse. <laughs> All right. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Verse 15. 132 chapters and 84 verses complete. My substance was not hid from thee. When I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Verse 16, thy eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book, all my members are written, which is which in continuous were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Oh my gosh, did you follow that? He will in a minute. Watch. Watch the watch our father. Oh my gosh. His eyes saw my substance. Unperfect. Belly of the whale. Just unperfect. Yet being unperfect. In thy book. What's his book? In thy book, that's used 184 times, by the way. Okay? Watch what he's saying here. In thy book, all my members were written. In thy book, 184 times times all my members are written well what are my members well i mean it can't be like my physical body in the book so it's got to be if it's pertaining to me it's got to have something to do with me that's in the book that's why he uses it 184 times to emphasize that and all this My members are the numbers that define me. Yo, big time. Yes, I know this is review, just it needs to be part of this video. My members are in the book. My numbers are in the book. He's teaching us to number the days. It's about numbering. 3-2, born 3-2. That is angelic messenger of God. That would fit Michael. Oh, that is my name. 3-2-63 is my birthday. That's 95. 95.0 is in the days of Noah were because... Noah was 950 years old. He also time stamp or stamps this by 95 September 5th is the 248th day of the year because that is the minute I was born. And we saw how that he ties that into believe. My age 58, huge time stamp. Michael working on that fourth wall, third wall or fourth wall depending on how you're adding Jesus Christ in the equation. In Gematria, my name, 184. Okay. Angelic messenger of God. Well, servant of God. Servant is number 1401. 3, 2 plus 63 plus 58 plus 248 is 401. So it's father and the servant. 
Because uh, he's speaking, I'm hearing. He's leading, I'm following. Of God, servant of God. 1,343 times. Father, 343 is 32 plus 63 plus 248. Okay? Me, with Christ in me. This 1343 is 34 in 13. Strong's number 3413. Michael the Archangel. How many fish you catch? 153 big fish. 32 plus 63 plus 58. Michael's working on the lost fish. Or will be. Well, if we add Jesus Christ in... The first piece in the cornerstone, 204, and the timestamp that goes with it at 11.30. And now we're moving forward with our eyes wide open. 32 plus 63 plus 58, but now we add in Michael and we get to 204. These are numbers he's taught us on this journey way before I recognized any of that. We already talked about the Elijah thing, Elijah the prophet, proof 585 times, that's everything but Michael, and then who's he give the proof to? Michael. We're going to close in Jude. Jude 9, yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring railing accusation against him, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. Michael in Moses, this is not that Moses in the Old Testament, it's a figure of this Moses. Disputed over the body of Moses. I definitely have the scars to prove it. I'll spare you that. And it was way more than uh, physical beating. The body. The body of Moses. What is it? It's 4983. Well, 4-9, we know what that is. 83 is my birthday plus Michael. Because who are we talking about? Michael. It's used 146 times. So what? Well, that's 32, my birthday, year I was born, plus who are we talking about? Michael. Dared not bring railing accusation against him, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Why did I say that? Father told me to. It's written. It is written. Bring against him is number 2018. Because it was 2018. I hope that I haven't made this confusing for you at 10404. I love you guys dearly. Our Lord is on his way. Don't fret. Keep watching. Don't let anybody take your crown. Glory to God in the highest. Blessings to you. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to his son, Jesus, the Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, my Lord and my King, whom I am at his feet, his eternal servant, and blessings to you.